If you Google the TSA website, you will find that they have a page devoted to the carrying of alcoholic beverages both in carry-on and in check-in baggage. Whether intentional or not, the information on that page is vague and misleading. It begins with the heading indicating that the page pertains to alcoholic beverages. Under the subheading, Traveling with Special Items, we find the first line reads, Travelers may now carry through security checkpoints, travel size, and the word alcohol suddenly is changed to toiletries. This leaves the reader wondering if we're now still talking about the same thing. I have had a few drinks in the past when after drinking them I would have described them as a toiletry, but I don't think that's what they're talking about here. The next line says, any type of liquid, including alcohol greater than 3 ounces, with the exception of medications, must be in your checked bag. But you can purchase it afterwards after the security checkpoint because you bought that at the airport. Next, it talks about alcohol and checked baggage, which we know you can do. But there is a caveat here that anything more than 70% will not be allowed in any baggage. That means no Bacardi 151. The fire hazard is considered to be too great for higher alcohol amount beverages. Also, there is an implied expectancy that you are of a legal age to purchase and hold said alcohol. This video is also intended as information for those who are legally old enough to purchase and hold said alcohol. As this information is presented, if you take alcoholic beverages that are less than 3 ounces in quantity, pack them in the standard 1 quart size clear plastic zip top bag, you can take them in your carry-on baggage. I've also read from some sources that the reason that this kind of loophole was left in, because the men that passed this bill, congressmen, senators, etc., all like to imbibe when they're traveling, and they didn't want to cut themselves out from being able to carry their own alcohol aboard an aircraft. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but the only way to find out for certain that this little loophole exists is to put it to the test, and that's what we intend to do right now. Got my airline carry-on kit. And we're going to find out if the TSA regulations are correct that you can carry bottles of alcohol, as long as they're sealed in a carry-on bag, through the detector and get on board with it. Let's go. Huh? Well, the worst that can happen is that uh, I'll lose my, what was it, $16.70? They'll tell me I can't have it and it has to be thrown out. ABC gates. <laughs> Typical. We fly other airports for so long. LA. Well, we're not in LA, but yeah, that's true there. Clean everything out of our pockets. Wow, this is always so busy. There you go. Alright, so are you able to take the full shades off real quick? He made me take my sunglasses. Well, then the camera would be gone. The camera would be crazy. Got a little carry on. I can't run the shades through. We'll put them in.
Yeah, and as they say, it went right through. It went right through. I'm going to put that, put that right in our carry-on bag. Well, we made it through. Didn't have a problem with the booze. No water, no juice, but she didn't care about the alcohol. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, really. Now, if you think you're going to save money doing this, forget it. The difference could be measured in pennies. It simply wasn't worth the time and gas to stop at the liquor store. Where it comes in handy is in your choice of beverages. On Southwest, for instance, your choices are limited to a selection of about seven. But let's say that your tastes are a little bit more sophisticated. Perhaps you like a good single malt or a brand name like Grey Goose. Then in that instance, you have no choice but to bring your own on board. And if you fly to as many locations as we do during the course of our investigations, you'll like that little extra touch. Better than theirs. Better brand than what they carry on the plane, but not much difference in the price. Once you're on board, discretion should come to the forefront. Be aware that most airlines will not allow you to use your own alcohol while on board. The reason is, they all have technique of alcohol management cards, which means if you become unruly, they can cut you off. If you get unmanageable and they can't cut you off, then for the safety of the other travelers, they have to put you off. And we've certainly seen that happen enough times in the news lately. You may be flying to Las Vegas or Hawaii and find yourself put off in Bakersfield.